you whippersnappers have been asking me the same question over and over again. And it's whether you can get hired with just an AWS certification or not. And what do I have to say about that? <laughs> Sorry, I had to put that in there. <laughs> I thought it was necessary. But okay, you cannot get hired with just an AWS certification, if that's all you have. So say it with me. You cannot get hired with just an AWS certification. My number one like asked question is, what certification do I need to get into IT? And it, it's just not that simple. You don't you just you don't just get a certification and you're suddenly in IT or you're suddenly working with technology or suddenly a software engineer. It's, it's just, not, just not that simple. So I don't know why so many people ask that question. I don't know how people can think that they can just get a job with just um, just a piece of paper, which is that's all really certification is. It's just a piece of paper. This kind of has the like same mentality as the people that just uh, they think they have a college degree and expect to get hired or they have a college diploma and expect to get hired just because they have this little piece of paper that said they're uh, they're a graduate from college or in some liberal art liberal liberal major or something like that like English and while you can get a job in IT from being like an English major you have to do a lot of work to get there before I begin into some of the work you need to get there Make sure to triple click that like button as it'll help me a lot and I put a lot of work into these kind of videos. Thanks. So I imagine these AWS certifications kind of like a piece of paper, kind of like a canvas. So you know what it was a canvas used for? Like when you're painting, you paint on top of a canvas, right? So you can start to paint a wonderful painting if you have a canvas, right? That's all you need to start, a canvas and paint. Well, the AWS certification is just the canvas, okay? So you also need the paint. You can improvise and use stuff like dirt or mud to paint onto the canvas if you don't have actual paint, but it's just dirt or mud at the end of the day. And at that point, you have a mud painting, and you might be saying, who would want to buy a mud painting? And I mean, sure, there's plenty of people that would want to buy a mud painting, but um, I don't want to buy a mud painting. <laughs> and I'm sure you can find someone who would want to buy a mud painting if you're a famous enough painter, but... If you have only have mud paints, I don't think you're going to be a famous enough painter. So they probably wouldn't pay much for it. <laughs> so that same analogy kind of works with AWS certifications. With that AWS certification, you might be able to get into a phone interview or two, or a couple. And you might even be able to get pretty far into like the actual interview that decides whether you get the job or not. But there will come a point when the interviewer will ask a question. And you might not be able to answer that thoroughly enough for you to get the job. So you cannot fake it all the way through to get the job most of the time when all you have is the AWS certification. There's really only so far you can fake it when all you have is a piece of paper saying that you know how to take a test. That's, you can only go so far with that piece of paper. Another thing is that it's so easy to get AWS certifications these days. Like they're a dime a dozen. Like you can, your, your grandpa, he probably has like 17 certifications from AWS. And it, it's one of the reasons why I have like three, I got like three of them in like three weeks. I'll put that up, video up in the screen, how I did that. Um, but, and I'll put it in the description as well. And it's, it's so easy to get them that you, it'll just like take a week or a couple of weeks just to get one. Then, and then you can't just say, oh, where's my job? So they're kind of like a prerequisite for being considered in some cases for some jobs. So then you might say, uh, I really want a job in IT, and how do I get there? And the first thing you want to do is watch my video on how to get a job that uses AWS. I'll put that on the screen somewhere, or maybe I'll link it. I'll link it in the description as well. And to really sum that up, what you want to do is you need to get experience first. And you might be saying, how, how do I get experience when the only way to get experience is to have a job that gives experience? So I can't get experience without experience. Um, so. <laughs> When the prerequisite to get a job is the ex experience, that's a real question that many people have. And my answer to that is you do side projects to make your own experience. And how do you make your own experience? You make, side, you make your own side projects. And what you really do with your side project is up to you. And the best way to learn something is not by watching some video lecture on how, to, how important VPCs are to get an AWS certification for like Solution Architect Associate. That's no one. That's not a good way to learn something. Like <laughs> Cloud Guru says that a lot. VPCs are very important for AWS certifications. I'm sure they are, but how often are they going to be used in the actual job that you want to get? Is the real question. So you would first want to learn by actually building something, 
and may or may not include a VPC or whatever type of project you want to build. Like oftentimes you don't even need to worry about VPCs for many projects. Like a normal like website, like full stack website, you don't need to worry about it too much if you're doing it like serverless. So another question I get is, what, pro what side project should I work on? Like that's the question, what side project should you work on? And it's hard for me to answer that because I don't know you really enough to know what you specifically should work on because this is a very personal thing. What are, what are you interested in? What do you like to do? What do I like to do? Well, actually, that doesn't matter for your side project. But it requires a bit of creativity. And I can't give you all the answers for what side project to work on. If everyone had the same side project, then um, side projects wouldn't really mean anything because then they would all be the same. And if everything's the same, then nothing really matters to me. To me. So a decent starting place, though, is using the serverless stack. So it's a very like modern stack. So you'd use. Um, React for the front end, uh, serverless for the back end using lambdas, AWS lambdas, and then Stripe to make payments. And then you can you can branch out from there anywhere. So I'll, I'll put a put it on the screen the serverless project. I made a video about that like a couple weeks ago, and I'll put that in the description as well. But honestly, you can make a nice website like that, and then eventually you could link it and um, put that side project on your resume, like put the URL to it, and then maybe. Maybe it could earn your uh, revenue sometime in the future, and that could be another selling point. Like, hey, it had like so 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 and so traffic went to this website, and then that that's like a hiring manager would really want to see that. Another thing to get experience would be maybe work on open source projects on GitHub. And I don't really like doing this that much because you don't know what you're contributing contributing to like almost all the time. You won't, I don't like knowing that this project might just fail and suddenly stop being supported or people might just stop working on it suddenly because reason. And so that's, that's up your call really, whatever you want to work on like open source projects in GitHub. Um, but it, it can show you that you know how to work on like a technical environment and you, work, you can work on Git and you can make pull requests and stuff like that. That's all very, I guess, desired by a hiring manager as well. All right, now that you got through most of this video, I do want to say that it is possible to get a job with only AWS certifications. And it might be very, very, very hard. Like, it's kind of like saying it is possible for a person to go to the moon within their lifetime. But it might be very difficult or expensive to get there. I mean, maybe with SpaceX, it'll be easier. But it's, it's difficult to get a job with just an AWS certification because it might not show too much. I mean, it might show that you know how to sit down and take an exam and learn from an exam and learn the, like, I guess, material that's similar to what is used in the job, though. At the end of the day, it's not useful advice to say, get an AWS certification and you'll get this job. It's not that easy. You need more. All right, if you had any questions, comment down below. I usually try to answer or comment or reply to almost all my um, comments in the comment section. So if you have a question or video idea, make sure to let me know. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.